Hey guys, it's Taylor here from Adreno. Today we're going to be discussing how to pair a brand new dive mask. On a brand new dive mask, uh, straight out of the factory, they've actually got a uh, silicon layer on the inside and the outside of the lens. Uh, and so we act actually do that to stop it uh, from getting as many scratches in transit. It's also just a byproduct of uh, the silicon being cut and just uh, particles being in the air. The main reasons that your mask is going to fog is either the lenses are dirty or they're just, you're just super hot inside the mask. There's a bit of uh, humidification. Um, but in this case, as it's a brand new dive mask, you do need to get that silicon layer off and all the dirt. Uh, that's what's going to be making it fog straight off the bat. Um, and so we've got a few products here that can do the trick. Um, we've got your C buff, which is what I pretty much recommend with every single mask that you buy, um, or if you've already got some at home is to use. It's a uh, anti-fog with a sandy grit through it, which actually helps to clean the dirt off it. Um, so this is the stuff that I would recommend for your mask. What you do is, if you actually have a look at the, at the stuff, you can actually see how gritty it is. And so you just put a drop or two on the inside of the lens. You won't need too much. This stuff should last you quite a while. And you're just going to use your finger to get into every single nook and cranny. Now, if you're a bit like me and a little bit anal about this stuff, uh, I would I do this two to three times just to make 100% sure. Nothing worse than having a foggy mask when you get out there. You cannot do this with uh, masks that have plastic lenses like your typical swim goggles or anything like that. Uh, we're lucky we can get away with doing this on dive masks because they're a tempered glass. Um, so for masks like your Technisub Sphera, the free dive mask, you won't be able to do this as you'll just scratch up your lens and you'll have to replace the lens. Now you can do this on both the inside and the outside of the lens just to make sure. And you don't need to let it set or anything like that. Just get into every nook and cranny. And once you're pretty happy with it, just wash it out. Now, uh, this is the uh, DIY version of people using toothpaste. Uh, the biggest thing why we don't recommend using toothpaste is because if you can't get it out of uh, every cranny, which happens quite a lot, as you'll see it get in under the frame of your mask, if your mask floods and you get toothpaste in your eyes, it's not fantastic. <laughs> um, so that's why I always recommend for nine bucks, get something like this, which isn't gonna hurt your eyes in case it does. Also, because toothpaste has chemicals in it, it sometimes cannot be fantastic on the silicon skirt. So it's always something to think about. Um, so that's how to prepare your dive mask. Um, now we've got a few different things that we can use to actually stop your mask from fogging while you're out in the boat or just about jump in the water. Um, so we've got a few different types. We've got your sea drops, which is more of a liquid. Uh, you have your sea gold, which is a gel. Now these do pretty well the same job. Um, it just depends on what preference you have. Uh, this stuff is a little bit easier to get into every single nook and cranny. It'll get in under your frame, which is really well, which is really good, because you really need to make sure you have every single piece of that glass completely clean. Um, now, you've also got your frog spit, which is a new one that's only been out for a while. Um, and so this is an alcohol-based one, so similar to like your dead old hand wash, it'll dry uh, in a few seconds. So the benefit of that is, is that you don't actually have to have uh, water on your face or your mask. So for places like in the tropics where the water's warm, you're actually really warm, um, where pretty much just by having so much water and heat inside the mask, you can get fogging just from the humidification of it. Um, so with this guy, you pretty much just put that inside the mask, let it dry, put it on your face, and off you go. So there you have it guys, that's how you uh, prepare your dive mask. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any handy how-tos.